Do you ever dream of soaring through the sky on a hoverbike like the characters in science fiction movies? Hoverbikes have long been a popular science fiction concept, from the speeder bikes in Star Wars to the hoverboards in Back to the Future. For many of us, the idea of zooming through the air on a sleek, futuristic machine looks like a pipe dream. However, the technology for hoverbikes is developing rapidly, and it may not be long before you can experience this thrilling ride for yourself. But is it possible, and will we ever have hoverbikes in real life? While hoverbikes may not yet be available for commercial use, there are several popular prototypes that have been developed and are currently in production. One of the most well-known examples is the Hoverbike Scorpion 3, developed by Hoversurf, a Russian-based technology company. The Scorpion 3 is a single-seat hoverbike that uses quadcopter technology to achieve lift and propulsion. It is powered by four electric motors and can reach up to 50 kilometers per hour, 31 miles per hour. The hoverbike is designed for both indoor and outdoor use and can be operated by a pilot or remotely controlled. Another popular prototype is the Flyboard Air, developed by Zapata Industries, a French company. The Flyboard Air uses jet turbine technology to achieve lift and propulsion and can reach up to 150 kilometers per hour, 93 miles per hour. It is designed to be operated by a single pilot and can be used for various applications, including search and rescue, military operations, and personal transportation. Another prototype that has been in the works since 2016 is the Aero X. The Aero X uses powerful fans to create a cushion of air beneath the vehicle, which allows it to hover up to 10 feet off the ground. The hoverbike can reach up to 45 miles per hour, making it a practical alternative to ATVs. While the Aero X is still in the prototype stage and has not been approved for use on public roads, it represents an exciting step forward in the development of hoverbikes. While these prototypes are still in the testing and development phase, they offer a glimpse into the future of hoverbike technology and the potential applications that this technology could have. As technology advances and becomes more sophisticated, we will likely see more and more hoverbikes entering the market offering a new and exciting form of transportation for people worldwide. Creating a functioning hoverbike is a complex and challenging task involving several fields, from engineering to physics. One of the biggest challenges facing hoverbike designers is achieving lift. To hover, a vehicle needs to generate enough lift to counteract the force of gravity. Traditionally, this has been achieved through the use of rotors or jets, which create an upward force that keeps the vehicle aloft. However, these methods have some significant drawbacks when it comes to hoverbikes. For one thing, traditional rotors and jets are heavy and cumbersome, making them difficult to integrate into a sleek, streamlined design. Additionally, they require a significant amount of power to function, so hoverbikes would need large, heavy batteries or fuel sources to keep them in the air. The noise and exhaust produced by traditional hovercraft engines could make them impractical for use in urban areas. So what's the solution? One emerging technology that could revolutionize how we think about hoverbikes is magnetic levitation, or maglev. Maglev technology uses powerful magnets to levitate an object above a track, allowing it to move with minimal friction or resistance. While maglev trains are already in use in some parts of the world, applying the same technology to hoverbikes presents several unique challenges. One of the biggest hurdles to overcome is stability. Since maglev hoverbikes would not have traditional rotors or jets to control their movement, designers would need to devise new ways to stabilize the vehicle and allow it to maneuver effectively. This could involve using sophisticated computer algorithms to adjust the magnetic fields in real time, or creating new control systems that respond to the rider's movements. Another challenge is power. While maglev hoverbikes would be more energy efficient than traditional hovercraft engines, they would still require significant power to function. This could be achieved through lightweight batteries or advanced fuel cells, but would likely require significant advances in energy storage technology. Despite these challenges, there have been some promising developments in maglev hoverbike technology. Many companies and research teams worldwide are also working on maglev hoverbike prototypes which suggests that the technology is still evolving and advancing. Of course, maglev is not the only technology that could lead to the creation of hoverbikes. 
Other options include anti-gravity systems, which would use exotic materials or advanced physics principles to generate lift without needing external propulsion. However, these systems are still largely theoretical and would require significant breakthroughs in our understanding of physics and material science before implementation. While the concept of hoverbikes may seem far-fetched or impossible, it's important to remember that many of the technologies we take for granted today were once considered science fiction. The invention of the aeroplane, for example, was once thought to be an impossible dream, but it became a reality through the tireless efforts of visionary inventors and engineers. In addition to maglev and anti-gravity systems, there are other technologies that could potentially bring hoverbikes close to mass production. One such technology is superconductivity, which is the ability of certain materials to conduct electricity with zero resistance. While superconductivity is still a relatively new field of study, researchers have already discovered that it can be used to create powerful magnetic fields that could be harnessed to create lift. There is also nanotechnology, which involves manipulating materials at the molecular level. Nanotechnology has the potential to create lightweight, strong materials that could be used to build sleek, aerodynamic hoverbikes that are capable of achieving high speeds and maneuverability. Of course, all of these technologies are still in the early stages of development, and it may be many years or even decades before we see a fully functioning hoverbike. However, it's clear that there is a great deal of excitement and interest in hoverbikes, both from enthusiasts and researchers and engineers who see the potential for these vehicles to revolutionize transportation. In addition to technical challenges, there are also several regulatory and legal issues that must be addressed before hoverbikes can become a reality. These issues include licensing requirements for operators, safety regulations for the vehicles themselves, and rules governing the use of airspace. Safety is one of the biggest concerns. Flying bikes are inherently more dangerous than ground-based bikes, and accidents involving hoverbikes could be catastrophic. There is also the risk of collisions with other flying vehicles or stationary objects such as buildings or power lines. However, there is a great deal of excitement and interest in the development of hoverbikes. Imagine zipping through the air on a sleek, futuristic vehicle, enjoying unparalleled views of the world. Hoverbikes could be used for everything from commuting to work to weekend excursions, offering a fun and exciting alternative to traditional vehicles. That's why companies are investing billions to make this technology a reality. So will you ever have a hoverbike? It's impossible to say for sure, but it's clear that the technology is moving forward and that there are many talented and dedicated individuals working to make it a reality. Whether it's through maglev, anti-gravity, or some other as yet undiscovered technology, the dream of zooming through the air on a sleek, futuristic hoverbike may not be as far off as it once seemed. So keep your eyes on the skies. You never know what the future may hold.